Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. Believe God. The definition of believe. Accept something as true. Feel sure of the truth of. Be convinced by. Trust. Have confidence in. Put confidence in. Count on. Rely on. Depend on. Go for. Take as the gospel. I will read the amplified version of Romans chapter 10 verses 1 through 15. Brothers and sisters, my heart's desire and my prayer to God for Israel is for their salvation. For I testify about them that they have a certain enthusiasm for God, but not in accordance with correct and vital knowledge about him and his purposes. For not knowing about God's righteousness, which is based on faith, and seeking to establish their own righteousness based on works, they did not submit submit to God's righteousness. For Christ is the end of the law. It leads to him and its purpose is fulfilled in him for granting righteousness to everyone who believes in him as savior. For Moses writes that the man who practiced the righteousness, which is based on law with all its intricate demands shall live by it. But the righteousness based on faith, which produces a right relationship with him, says the following, Do not say in your heart, Who will ascend into heaven? That is to bring Christ down. Who will descend into the abyss? That is to bring Christ up from the dead as if we had to be saved by our own efforts, doing the impossible. But what does it say? The word is near you, in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word, the message, the basis of faith which we preach. Because if you acknowledge and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, recognizing his power, authority, and majesty is God, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart a person believes in Christ as Savior, resulting in his justification, that is, being made righteous, being freed of the guilt of sin and made acceptable to God. And with the mouth he acknowledges and confesses his faith openly, resulting in and confirming his salvation. For the scripture says, whoever believes in him, whoever adheres to, trusts in and relies on him, will not be disappointed in his expectations. For there is no distinction between Jew and Gentile. For the same Lord is Lord over all of us, and he is abounding in riches, blessings, for all who call on him in faith and prayer. For whoever calls on the name of the Lord in prayer will be saved. But how will people call on him in whom they have not believed? And how will they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how will they hear without a preacher, a messenger? And how will they preach unless they are commissioned and sent for that purpose? Just as it is written and forever remains written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news of good things. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.